Welcome to the Monday Music Minute. I'm your host, Eric Gill. I'm Mark with the St. Lucie County Library System. And this is another Monday Music Minute where we tell you our favorite finds on Freegal, brought to you by the St. Lucie County Library System, which allows you to stream and download free music thanks to the library. All you need is a library card and a computer or a smartphone. And because of social distancing, we have another guest this week, so we're going to magically disappear and welcome our next guest, Alfonso Jefferson, who's the Deputy County Administrator here for St. Lucie County. Well, it's great to be here. Since I grew up in the 80s, I still gravitate to the sounds of my high school years and more soulful lyrics and sounds. One of my favorite artists is Miss Regina Bell. Miss Bell started her career in the mid-1980s. I can still hear her songs, Baby Come to Me, and Make It Last Forever, on regular rotation. Frigo has, has a bunch of her recordings. I suggest you start with the best of Regina Bell album. Thanks, Alfonso. Mark, what do you listen to this week? Chicago's Naked Ray Gun is considered one of the first American post-punk bands in the 1980s. They merged punk hardcore with melodic influences. While they were not around long, they did get together for several reunion tours in the 90s and recorded new music in the early to mid-2000s. These recordings are part of the Frigo catalog. The band has an interesting legacy. Back in 1982, a 13-year-old budding musician on family vacation went with his cousin to go see them in a concert in a bar called The Cubby Bear in Chicago, located across the street from Wrigley Field. It was his first exposure to punk music. He fell in love with the music instantly and later said it's a moment that changed his life forever. That kid was Dave Grohl, and he went on to be the drummer for a band called Nirvana and later formed the Foo Fighters. I've heard of him. Yeah, he's kind of famous. Now, there was a time when I was into jam bands. Back in the summer of 94, I had the paid internship at the Charlottesville Daily Progress. Seville was the home base for the Dave Matthews Band, and I spent many a night at Trax, a live music venue where DMV played a lot of their early gigs, hoping to catch an un uh, unannounced surprise set either by the band or by Dave Solo. But unfortunately, that never happened for me. The band was on tour playing amphitheaters with the Horrid Festival, with fellow jam bands like Blues Traveler, the Almond Brothers, Big Head Todd and the Monsters, and Rusted Root. All of the members of Dave Matthews' bands are talented musicians mixing jazz and rock. But for me, violinist Boyd Tinsley is to the Dave Matthews Band what Clarence Carter is for the E Street Band. That special something that just makes them stand out. But my pick this week is Live Tracks Volume 6 from Fenway Park. Clocking in at nearly five hours, these 38 different songs cover some of the band's hits from their 20-plus career at that point in time, including Stay, Ants Marching, Bartender, and Jimmy Thing. And you can't play Fenway without covering some sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, I know. That's horrible. But thanks for joining us. Have a great Monday. <laughs>